Hello, Raising Vibrations community, and hello to my Capricorn friends. And today, we're going to be doing the sun sign forecast for you guys and for uh, December 2016. So um, I'm just going to share a little bit on my personal feelings on December. I feel that this uh, this month's going to be really interesting. I think it's going to be a bit of a wacky slash bumpy ride with um, some really wonderful experiences followed by some really strange experiences. And I think that overall, it's just going to be a culmination of 2016, like all the energies that have been um, floating through us and kind of upgrading us and changing the way that we've been experiencing ourselves, etc. A lot of that uh, will be felt uh, very intensely in um, in 2016 December. And part of that is probably because of the new moon or the full moon that's taking place and also the sun that's transiting over Saturn. Um, Venus has also made itself um, make very, very strong connections towards uh, Pluto. That was more in November, but a lot of that reverbing of that connection between um, Pluto and Venus uh, has been creating a lot of noise for us to get connected with and to understand what is taking place for us in our personal lives. Now, for you guys, um, Pluto has been transiting your first house of your astrological chart for quite some time now, 2008. And, you know, for for Pluto to be transiting your first house means that on a very deep personal and emotional level, your life has been changing in at a very fast, rapid rate. You've been very, um, like, you've been trying new things, new directions, you've been going out, you've been doing new stuff, but then you get bored and you have to change. And it's like a consistent where am I, who am I uh, experience. And what's interesting about that is that when I look at my Capricorn uh, friends or anybody that is Capricorn, this experience of knowing where I belong has been such a difficult ex uh, experience on a psychological level because we as human beings like to have consistency. And so the Capricorn energy in itself also wants to have consistency. So to have a life where your deepest desires are consistently moving and changing and shaping can be very emotionally unsettling if you don't know that this is what's taking place for you. Like you're trying to find out where do you belong? Like what is the new you? So a really, really in, um, deep piece of information there and a sense of that's why that's what's been happening for you um, since 2008. Now, um, on another level, you, you have Neptune transiting your third house and you've got Uranus in your fourth. And again, these are outer planets. So these planetary systems have been deeply awakening the understanding of feeling inspired through connectivity, right? So um, feeling like you're able to connect with people on a spiritual level, feeling like you're able to um, know how language works, uh, what is your language, a lot of that stuff has, has been um, very influential in you finding connection to these new environments, right? So there's a, like a, a spiritual surrender that needs to take place as you find that every time your desires change for a new direction, there's inspiration that comes along with it. It's like, oh, curiosity. What does it mean to live there? What does it mean to do this? What does that job offer? What does this type of thing do? So there's been a lot of up and down movements in there, but... Finally, there's a sense of like settling down, I feel, and there's a sense of this is where I would like to kind of um, cohabitat for a little bit. And with Uranus being in your fourth house, the emotional connection towards this new direction is finding finding a, uh, what's the word, like a, a sense of balance or a sense of consistency. So here's how I'd like to actually put this in a better way. With Uranus in your fourth house, your emotional connection and roots have been very um, up and down, okay? So you felt like you settled and then all of a sudden things change, right? You felt like you settled and all of a sudden things change. So it can become very, very difficult to feel all the time like you can just put your feet down into the ground and feel growth occur because there's so much change happening. The Neptune is saying, allow yourself to be curious as these new adventures prevent, like come out and allow yourself to be connected to the multitude of people and experiences that are in different environments, okay? Now, Venus, or should I say Saturn, is also transiting your 12th house of the astrological chart, which means a big deal or a big chunk of this experience 
is about how do I connect with reality when a deep part of myself is wanting to become in a hermit-like state, right? I want to really connect with, with my inner um, hermit, basically. And it can be a really difficult experience surrendering your power on an ego level and being very much in the flow. So with Saturn and the, and the Sun making their connection during this month, this will become extremely highlighted for you. We're a sense of wanting to withdraw, a sense of wanting to um, know what emotional realities don't work for you anymore and how that process is tying in with the bigger stories of Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus, which is this is what's happening to you on a collective level. And individually, it's breaking down the emotional structures of your of your your identity, right? So let's say, for instance, you identify with the culture that is, um, you know, Spanish, and all of a sudden these transits say, no, you've got to move to Australia, right? Immediately when you move to Australia, the way that you related to yourself in Spain, for instance, would be different to when you were now living in Australia because the culture itself is different. So you fundamentally still stay the same, but the definitions of your emotional attachments and integrations change. And that's what's kind of morphing for you. Okay. Deep emotional shifting on a subconscious, uh, on, a, on an emotional level. All right. Now with Jupiter transiting your 10th house, a lot of this has been, okay, I've got to go into deep reflection. I've got to find out what direction I would really like to go in life. Is this where I want to be? And I feel that this is a good point for you. This is great for you to feel nourished in being able to know where you want to go in life. What is your life direction? Where do you set your goals? So there's a lot of support there from, from Jupiter at that stage. Okay. Now, um, on the 7th of December, which is tomorrow, today I'm recording it on the 6th, Venus will enter Aquarius and will be in your second house. So you'll be very much focused on your values and resources and what's what's the most important thing for you right now, okay? Um, on the 13th of, de of December, we've got a full moon taking place in Gemini. That will be in your sixth house. So again, a lot of this experience will be knowing how to come out of that hermit-like state and be present and do the things that are absolutely essential, like your fix your your new home app or um, reorganize some stuff. So this will be very much what this new moon is going to, full moon is going to be for you like. And it's just about being clear on your reality, okay? So that's what I want to say to you. What is your direction? What what are you clear about at this point in time? And really spend some time focusing on, on that in a big way. Now, Mars will enter Pisces um, on the 19th of December and Mercury will also go retrograde. So Mars enters your third house and Mercury goes back into the 12th house once this retrograde period starts to happen. So what's happening here is a smaller version of the overall picture. And that is Mars goes into your third and says, okay, what type of thinking do you use that's still attached to old emotional patterns that don't allow you to feel free in your new direction? Okay. So psychological habits will become more aware or awakened within you as this Mercury transits back into your 12th house. You'll have a deeper, more subconscious um, connection with yourself. You'll find yourself traveling a little bit more into how you communicate, how you speak. And with Mars transiting into your third, there's going to be an extra amplification of how you express yourself, okay? Especially around the language that you use. Now, on the 21st of December, Sun enters Capricorn, which is amazing. Finally, that Sun sign will come out of your 12th house and that will kind of bring um, in synchronicity a new sense of inspiration, okay? A new sense of aliveness. You'll feel a lot more awakened. You won't feel as if you're tired consistently. That's only because of the Sun in the 12th house and you'll find a lot more vitality come out. So from the 21st onwards, you'll find yourself having a lot more vitality, okay? Now, it will cross Mercury at that point in time, so there is going to be illumination for you around mental attachments that you have to things that might, may or may not give you empowerment, basically. Okay, so on the 26th and 28th of December 2016, we've got Jupiter opposed Uranus and square Pluto, and we have 
Saturn square Chiron. Now, this is a big deal, okay? My best advice to every single person here is to allow that process to be exactly what it is, okay? To be, uh, to just to just let this transit just take its course, sit back, watch, don't try and get engaged in the vortex because this is going to be a very hypersensitive time. You're going to find yourself being very emotionally attached to experiences that um, are not clear in the moment. And so just watch this energy play out over the next period of time, okay? Um, because it's going to be a very hypertense situation. And I think because of um, the kind of Christmas time as well, lots of families are going to get together where there's going to be a lot of hypertension. So just be careful of that experience getting caught in the drama, okay? All right, my Capricorn friends, thank you very much for listening and supporting the work. Um, to my website in, is in the description below, simonforster.com. Go check that out uh, and you can support my work through purchasing one of my services or um, you know, joining me in one of the astrology classes where I can teach you evolutionary astrology. Um, yeah, so other than that, have a wonderful month and I'll speak to you later. Take care, bye-bye.